Welcome back to another video, you know what I'm saying? If you new, like, comment, subscribe, you know, I'm doing none of that. Your mom's most likely 9 out of 10, 100% a whore. And it's about Christmas. You don't want that to happen. But listen, if you've been checking my IG story, which I don't know why y'all not following me, make sure y'all go check that in the description, you feel me? I recently went on a digital detox. Now, listen, if you don't know what a... I'm reading out the paper, bro. Chill out. Like, I have to write this down because I really want y'all to understand where I'm coming from. So if you see me looking to the side, hey, can you see it? It's on my notes. You feel me? But, Pete, I recently went on a digital detox for about eight hours. Basically, like, being away from a media or, like, a type of technology that usually had your concentration. You know what I'm saying? Or have your eyes set on it for all types of time of the day. No telling. So if you don't know what a digital detox is, just let me give you an example. Some different ways you have difficulty concentrating on whatever task you're doing currently without checking your phone. Let's use an example. If this was me earlier, if I'm doing homework and then I see my phone ring, I stop and then I boom. You feel me? That's that's a sign you need a digital detox. Like your phone is just always, you know, taking your concentration off something important. Uh, let's go again. You have a consistent need to check your phone. You ever got that feeling like your phone ringing, but that shit really not ringing, but you hear a buzz type shit? Crazy, I know. But if you know, you know. You need a digital detox, my friend. Another one. If the first thing you do when you wake up is check your phone. I'm talking before you pray, before you fully get the crust out your eyes. You just wake up and boom, check the phone. You probably need a digital detox. You know what I'm saying? And those was only three. I really could keep going, but I'm not here for that. I'm going to let y'all really research it a little bit more on your own. But uh, I'm just going to tell you how my experience went. Let's see. It was really for a class experiment or a quest we call that full cell. You know what I'm saying? Psychology of play we do. You pick two quests like each week. And uh, quest four was the digital detox. And I chose, I'm like, cool, let me put, as, as you know, I'm basically on social media, you know what I'm saying? I do this YouTube shit, shout out to the, shout out to the fam. But I'm like, let me see how long I can go. So I set myself for about eight hours without my phone. That doesn't mean communication as far as if it was like something direly important, you know what I'm saying? But like, I'm talking like no IG, no Facebook, no TikTok, no YouTube. That's why I didn't post until like close to damn near midnight, like two days ago, you feel me? Matter of fact, it wasn't two days ago. This shit was yesterday. See how that shit can get caught up on your phone so damn much? Let me tell you what I did, though. I read the Bible. Yes, get your Bible word in. I read the Bible. I worked out like a couple 20 to 30 more minutes than I usually do, which was fine, which is cool. And uh, I slept. I got a, I got a good rest, and it really got me thinking. A, a digital detox really opened my mind more to thinking about things that I usually wouldn't think if I was on my phone, you know what I'm saying? Really just had me at peace. I felt more energetic. My eyes wasn't straining because I'm looking at a screen a lot. My eyes wasn't straining. So I'm like, a digital detox, I feel like I could do that like once out of the, every week, once out of every week. I really feel like you guys should try it, man. It really helps for real, for real. And, uh, yeah, digital detox, man. I really feel like you should try it because it, it definitely will help you. It really will. Yeah, and, uh, also, quest I did Quest 5, you know, which is called the Golden Circle. You know what I'm saying? I got introduced to a guy named Simon Sinek. You know, you can search him up on YouTube. He, he created this Golden Circle consisting of, of the Y how and what now let's define the how the why and the what the what the how the why you know what i'm saying how do you do what you do what do you do and why do you do it by meaning what's the purpose behind it what's the value of it what's the belief behind it and why should anyone care about it now those are things you really have to ask yourself when you wake up you know what i'm saying what are you doing how do you do it and why do you do it? Me personally, I believe the why exists to coexist with each other to make the circle. You know, a circle is round. It connects at one point and connects at one point. It never ends. It's a circle. 
So it's like, why do you do the things you do? Me personally, I do career based off the passion and the love and the creativity and the ideas I have. That's my why. I want to be able to live financially stable and wealthy based off the things that I enjoy. You know what I'm saying? I guess further along in my career or life, I may ask some more, why do I do this? Because my brain started expanding and I, I, I know to really know the why. But right now, that's my why. I want you to leave in the comment section, why do you do the things you do? How do you do it? And what is it? If you can figure that out, I figure you can complete your circle. Stay consistent, my friend. YouTube, welcome back to another video, a reaction video. Sight, it's a vlog, you know what I'm saying? Shout out my boy WPJ Mo, you know what I'm saying? Shout out my boy Big Gooch, my boy Will for Way for the session, man. I really, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even finna goddamn do too much, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna get some footage of my boy. I got my nigga Roman back there, you know what I'm saying? So what up? All I know is, this nigga not finna be goddamn. Listen, when I say we recording, you can't talk, man. You know, you're not acting like a Garfield right now. You're a Raptor, bro. This is Raptor stuff, not a Garfield, bro. How'd you do that? Exactly. Ah! Exactly. When we start recording, you can't talk. I appreciate the love and likes and comments on the last couple of videos, but I, I think y'all love me. I think y'all fuck with it, nigga, for real. Boy, I bought swear like a bitch. Now I see what they say. Don't vlog and drive. Don't even be on your phone and drive. I'm going to throw it right here by the steering wheel, but I definitely appreciate all the love, man. For real, for real. 500 on the way after that. 1K on the way, you know. We're going to keep grinding. We're going to keep pushing. Studio session going to be a vibe. I'm already knowing Definitely gonna have footage of that. And we're just gonna see how this how this day gonna go. You got something to say? No? Alright, bet. And audio gonna fuck. So you got nothing left to offer. Like crazy. You don't know when that's the cross. Let me run, let me do that. Uh like crazy. Like crazy. You don't know when that's the cross. Hey, top on the side of the feed. Man, I'm not going to go to the part of me. I close eyes and they never open back. Late night freestyles. I remember NO used to rap. 